Oh yeah, what's up everybody? In this video, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over with a propane gas cooking stove that's great for camping, RVing, traveling, any type of like, or maybe just outdoor barbecue, which is kind of like what I have set up here. This is by a company called Camplex, and this unit right here is the two burner unit. And I did box, I did unbox it and put it together because I have been using it over the past couple of months because I really wanted to kind of test this out before doing my review on it. And let me just kind of like show y'all how quickly you can put this thing together. So first off, it came in a very nicely packaged box with the unit here and it has these four legs, four legs and it's done by these little thumb screws right here. So no tools required to put this whole thing together, which was awesome. I had this thing together in probably three minutes total, flipping it over, taking the plastic off and then screwing these down. So each one screws down there and then it has this wind guard. You can see how this wind guard just slides on like that. Let me just kind of go over this unit for y'all real quick. So number one, this cooks at 130,000 BTUs per side. So 260,000 BTUs, that is a lot of cooking power. And this thing gets super hot. It runs off a propane tank there. It has the standard propane fitting right there. And I use the 15 pound propane tank is what I use. I will show hooking that up here in a minute. And it is a manual ignition. So you will need a lighter to mount to light it. It does not have a spark ignition on it, which is no big deal. I've been able to do it pretty fast anyway plus it's kind of cool to kind of light one up like that instead of hitting a little thing so all cast iron so it holds up extremely well will last lifetime will actually last generations actually and the overall dimensions on it is a little over 30 inches from here to here so 30 inches that way and 30 inches that way with about a little over 15 almost 16 inches that way so this is great for a patio backyard barbecues or something like that because of the size of it this thing does not look cheap at all it has a very premium look to it when you're looking over it here so i really like the look of this this is something you'd be proud to kind of have on your back patio for cooking you know you can cook a whole pot of chili which is awesome because look at the size of these burners here's my hand look how big that burner is two adjustment knobs right here that go from off all the way to high on both of them very big knobs easy to use easy to replace these if you ever need to get a new knob or anything but very sturdy not really much to go wrong on this whole thing that's what i like about it there's not a lot to go wrong on it the fitting comes in right there nice attachment there and then attaches there let's cook up some um, sausage and eggs over here so let's do a quick breakfast it is early morning so i want to do a quick breakfast but you can do tons you can do ribs you can do hamburgers steaks you name it i've done a lot on this thing so yeah let me go ahead and do a quick little cook up for you guys right now and show you how well this thing works so yeah let's do that now all right first off i made sure both the knobs are turned off Make sure this is turned off. I'm gonna go ahead and screw it into the propane tank now. This is your standard, I think this is called a CSA fitting is the name of this fitting. This is just your standard and it, you know it shows on here 20 PSI's. Make sure you get it screwed down nicely on that. And this hose is actually a pretty long hose so you can run this pretty long. So once I have done that, I wanna turn this on slowly. I heard it click on, so I'm slowly turning that on. Now that I have that on, let's go over here and light it up. All right, so now I have the propane hooked up. You can listen. I don't know if you can hear it in the mic, but listen when I just turn it on low. You hear that? So we know we got it. So I'm not going to turn it wide open. I'm going to use my trusty lighter there, go a little bit there. Look how easy that was. Was that not easy? You guys can see the blue flame on how it's coming out. I don't know how well it's coming out in the camera, but I have full flame going right there. And then if I want to mount, if I want to do another one on this side, give me a little gas. Look how easy that was to light. Woo! I am under a canopy here, so I don't want to get too hot and burn my canopy. So I'll turn that one off. Let's let that one burn a little bit. That is extremely hot. So how awesome is that, how, how well this thing's lighting so up? So let me go ahead, I turned it down a little bit. I'm gonna put the pan on here, put a little oil in there. And you know what, I always love my oil. You wanna kinda squish this around. And I love the fact that I can kinda go down to low or super high. You see that, that's super high, which is very hot, but it'll cook up all my oil. Let's go back down to like low right there. We all love our eggs. Little seasoning salt on it. I highly recommend this Lowry seasoning salt. 
and I'm just gonna do a quick scrambled eggs. Look how fast this thing cooks up. This cooks very fast. This is one of these diamond pans, so it's a non-stick surface, gets extremely hot, cooks very well. You know, if we was at a beach somewhere or at a campsite, I'd be hungry really fast, so I need my eggs fast. All right, we have the sausage here. Let me throw one on there. We've got the second one, just to cook like a quick breakfast like this. I don't, I turn it down super low and then I'll kind of control the heat by lifting the pan up and just keep flipping it right there. Look at the size of these sausages. Does this not look awesome? We're about to have a sausage, egg, and cheese sandwich here in a minute. So I've got me some pepper jack cheese. I've got me some eggs. I've got me some bread. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna cook it up this morning. So now I'm gonna add all my pepper jack cheese here. Check this out, everybody. Look how well that cooked on there. Let's put one there. Let's put one right there. And there you go. The pan will move it over here. You can see, look at that flame coming out of there. Look how much power we still got on that. Turn that off, so to turn it off, you just switch it off like that. All right, so there it is, everybody. I showed cooking it up there. I showed you how well this thing cooks, how to hook it up, and a complete little walkthrough of this thing is. I've been really enjoying this. This thing is something I recommend for anyone that just has like a backyard, cook hamburgers, you know, steaks, you name it. If you can cook it, you can cook it on this thing because this thing cooks awesome. Look at the size of that grill right there. So that's all I got today, everybody, on the Camp Plec Outdoor Cast Iron Cooking Set. See you guys in the next video. Video. Woo!